Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, July... 14th? Yes, it's 14th. Because I just remember tomorrow's the 15th. It's a Pokemon community day. Okay, before I do anything, I'm going to say excuse my hair. <laughs> I have misplaced my hairbrush. And I can't find it anywhere. I've looked over the whole house. <laughs> so I've had to resort to combing my hair. And my hair does not enjoy being combed. <laughs> so it looks a little floofy and crazy. And I've just been trying to deal with it. i got to look for my hairbrush better. And if I can't find it, I'm just going to have to buy another one. But anyways, this is the second episode of my part <laughs> of the Christmas extravaganza that is hosted by KK Crochet over on their channel. I'll link it down below. It is KK and her daughter Kristen. They're doing videos every single day so go check them out and other people have been making videos too uh, and sharing uh, pictures and stuff with them and then they make like a slideshow. But anyways so I'm doing it every Friday which I think there are four or five <laughs> in the month. So uh, what it is is we're making Christmas gifts ahead of time so we have plenty of time and can share ideas with each other so we can all make gifts before you know we wait till like you know November and December and then we're all hectic and crazy so last week I shared uh, bookmarks which is good I thought would be a good gift with like if you're you know a bookie person <laughs> or a crocheter or something you could buy them a book like a pattern book and then put the bookmark in it you could customize the color you know to the person's uh, liking this week, I did something that's a little bit more practical for me here, <laughs> uh, specifically for Jesse, my son. He's seven, which is crazy. <laughs> so this week's is a cord organizer by Emily Stout. It is a free PDF download from Ravelry, and it's a super easy, super customizable <laughs> pattern as well. Uh, so I'm just going to show you two real quick that's not being used. So this is what they look like. I used dinosaur buttons because I made these for Jesse, <laughs> but... Um, so I used a trick, which is five millimeter, and this is just worsted weight yarn balls that I had laying around. So you make um, her pattern is free pattern. So she you chain seven, and then you make uh, seven rows of single crochet, and then you basically just single crochet around it, and you make a, a uh, hole up here with chains, so that you can put a cord in there, and then wrap it around it and button it. Um, it's like um, originally meant for headphones, which I know nowadays a lot of people have. Um, you know, wireless earbuds, <laughs> which I actually have some, but for kids like Jesse's age and June when she gets a little older, they're going to have, he already has, <laughs> uh, wired earphones so that they don't get lost. And uh, June would 100% eat an earphone, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So, um, you know, kids still need wired ones. A lot of people still prefer them and uh, other cords too, like chargers and things. So what I was thinking is I made some for Jesse because one, wired earphones. <laughs> Uh, so there's the little dinosaur in that one, little button. So you just wrap it around the cords and button it so it doesn't get all tangled. And then this right here, see how little this cord is? A lot of toys for kids, like uh, remote control cars and little robot things that do things, come with the littlest, tiniest cords. I don't know why they make them this long. <laughs> um, for you to recharge them with. And uh, they're kind of a hassle to keep up with because they're tiny. They get lost easy. And uh, I thought this would be a good idea to keep them, you know. So that's wrapped up in there good and buttoned with a cute little dinosaur. And um, that way we could keep them a little bit more organized in the drawer. And I'll, I'll be able to find, like, his little cords better. Because um, I know he's got a remote control car. He's got a robot thing. And he's got a, um, like, a hover. It's like a, it's supposed to be a bowling ball that hovers. <laughs> so it kind of glides across the floor. Uh, it's got a little tiny cord, too. I don't know why they make them short. <laughs> as heck but I guess it's cheaper you know but uh that way they don't get all tangled up now this would be a cute stocking stuffer I think um or like if you do purchase a toy that comes with a cord like a remote control car uh you could include it as well for the cord I just think these are cute and handy and this is good to throw like down in your purse or backpack or whatever to keep your cords from getting all tangled up and I just think they're neat they're super quick I made all four of these I made four of them <laughs> right in a row and June was napping and I just sat there and made them and I did alter the top part. This right here is the original pattern where it has you on the, after you do seven rolls, it has you um, chain five and slip stitch into the last spot, you know, to make the hole. I felt that was a little too big for my buttons. It depends on the button you use. So for the other three that I made, I, um, after I did seven rolls, I did two single crochets and then I chained three and then do two, two more single crochets uh, to make a smaller hole that all the dinosaurs do fit through. Because you want them to fit through there a little snug so that they don't just slide out, you know. But there they are. 
cute little dinosaurs. My sister gave me these buttons. I think she originally got them from Hobby Lobby. One of the times when they were like having clearance on everything. But, um, so I pulled them out. I thought they were cute <laughs> for Jesse cords. But I didn't just whip up four of these today. So these would be cute little things to add to, um, gift bags or care packages or stockings or anything like that. And you can wrap up all kinds of little things in them. You could also, like, if you want to do it for a laptop charger or something, all you'd have to do is just do more rows to make it longer to be able to wrap around. Because, you know, lap car laptop uh, chargers are... You know, when you wrap them up like that, they're kind of thicker because <laughs> it's more cord. Or, uh, you know, if you have like a, like I have a 10 foot phone charger in the living room so I can sit in two different chairs and charge if I need to. Um, so you could just make it bigger. You could make it wider too, like for a laptop charger because, you know, they kind of wide after you <laughs> wrap them up. You can make it wider and longer to wrap around. It's super easy to customize. You can make it people's favorite colors, use cute little buttons that are associated with that person or their hobbies and things. And I just think they're cute. I just thought they're cute. So it's a cute little gift idea to wrap up cords. <laughs> Try to hold them up here. Oh, that one's upside down. Fix him. <laughs> but I just think they're adorable. I love the little buttons too. They're so cute and happy. <laughs> but anyways, that is my Christmas extravaganza project for this week. So I think there's two more Fridays. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the cal calendar. But I'll be coming back next Friday, hopefully. I know this is kind of late in the day, but it's just because of life. <laughs> life has been crazy today. Actually, the last few days. But uh, I will get this out sometime today. So it still counts. <laughs> but I'm going to take my crazy hair and go because I need to try to find my hairbrush and uh, brush my hair out really good. It hasn't been brushed properly in two days because my, my hairbrush has been missing. And combs just don't cut it when you got thick hair. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just floofy and go there more. But anyways, I hope you guys like this. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. And I'll also link K&K &K Crochet. Check them out in their Christmas videos. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.